Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial. In this lesson, I will show you my take on Slow Blues by Mick Taylor. This tutorial will cover the chords and the basic riffs in the tune. The guitar is tuned standard E A D G B E. And we'll start by going over the chords. We'll start with an E7 sharp 9. We're holding down the A string at fret 7, the D string at fret 6, the G string at fret 7, and the B string at fret 8. Strumming that from the A string. We'll need an A7 formed this way. We're barring everything from the D string down at fret 5, and I have a finger on the G string at fret 6. We'll be sliding into that chord sometimes like this. So what we did is we went to fret 4, press down, and slide in to fret 5, like that. The next chord is an A7 suspended 2, and it sounds like this. For that one, we're holding down the D string at fret 5, the G string at fret 4, the B string at fret 5, and the high E string is open, giving us a very interesting sounding A7 suspended 4. We also want to add the open A string in that chord. Then we'll move down to a B11 sharp 9 played this way. For that one we're holding down the A string at fret 2, the D string at fret 1, the G string at fret 2, and the B string at fret 3 and we're leaving the high E string open for that 11th. And sometimes we'll tickle the B and high E string like this. So we'll play this. Now those are the chords used in the intro for the guitar. Later the keyboard will take over for the guitar solo and the chords will change a little bit. We'll use the E7 sharp 9. We'll go to the A7. Then we'll go to G7 by just moving it down by two frets. And then we'll use a B9 suspended 4 like this. We're forming that chord by barring everything from the A string down at fret 2. So the chords in the keyboard progression will sound like this on the guitar. For the bridge, we'll need an A chord, a G major chord, and a B major bar chord formed this way. For that one I'm holding down 
the A string at fret 2 and barring everything from the D string down at fret 3. Not playing the high E string. Now, let's learn the four chord riffs in the intro. The first one will go something like this. In order to play that one, we started with this little riff. For that riff, we're going to start at fret 2 on the A string with the ring finger, play it and slide it up to fret 4. Then we'll go to fret 2 on the D string. Then we'll go to the low E string, play it and bend it. And then we'll open it up to an open E. And we'll play that twice. After that riff, we'll go up to E7, sharp 9, and play it with a down strum. Then we'll go to an A7 chord and play it down up. Then we'll play the open A string. And then, strumming from the D string, we'll play our A7 suspended 2 down up. Then we'll go to our B11 sharp 9, strum it once. While holding down that chord, we'll play the B string, high E string, back to the B string, like this. So we'll play. So the entire thing is. Here's chord riff two. So for that one, we struck the low E string twice, went to our E7 sharp nine, that's a down strum, and then we're going to do three down strums on our A7 chord sliding in like this and then sliding twice and that's from fret 4 to fret 5 then we'll play the A string open twice and then we'll put our fingers on the A7 suspended 2 and play fret 5 just before we play the chord So it's and then we'll go down to our B11 sharp 9 and we played that chord and came up on the high E string. So here's the entire thing again. For chord riff 3, we'll play this. For that one, we'll play the beginning riff again with a variation. What we're going to do differently this time is we're going to hammer on to the D string open to fret 2 like that so it's then we'll go to the A7 chord strum it from the D string play the A string open strum it again A string and then we'll go to the A7 chord and play down up then the B11 sharp 9 
do this riff. For that riff, we're going to start at fret 3 on the B string for a D. Then we'll go to the G string fret 2, bend it up and release it. Open it up. The D string fret 2. Then we'll go to the G string hammer on, open to 1. Then we'll take a finger and pick up on the high E string like that. So that's so once again here's the entire thing and now for chord riff number four after we do this We'll go up to an A7 and play down, up, down. A7, suspended 2, down, up. B11, sharp 9. And then finish with this. In order to play that little riff, we're going to take the ring finger to fret 2 on the A string play it and slide to fret 4. Then we'll go to the D string fret 2. Then we'll go to the G string play it open to 1 hammering on and then back to fret 2 on the D string and then we'll hammer on the D string from open to 2 like that so it's So once again, here's the entire thing, starting with the chord riff at the end of chord riff 3. Now the chords in the guitar solo backing chord progression are slightly different than the chords in the intro. So we'll play them like this. That was an E7 sharp 9, A7, G7, B9 suspended 4. Now for the bridge. The bridge chords will start with an A, 2, 3, 4, a G, 2, 3, 4, A, 2, 3, and then a B, 2, 3, then back to the groove. Now let's talk about some notes that we can use to solo across these chord progressions. Now if we want to improvise across this chord progression, all we have to do is play notes from the E minor pentatonic scale. And that scale is played this way. We're starting that scale with the open low E, fret 3, the A string open 2, 
D string open to, G string open to, B string open three, and the high E string open three. And we can get another E by going to fret five on the B string. That's that blues E you hear. Okay, so all we have to do is just make up riffs using this scale. If we want to play the solo a little bit higher on the neck, all we need to do is go to fret 12 and play the E minor pentatonic scale from there. That's fret 12 on the low E, fret 15, moving to the next string, 12, 14, the next string, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15, or and we'll make up riffs on this part of the guitar. We might want to play one like this. play anything you want. If you want a high note, go up to fret 17 on the B string. I've got my looper set up, so let's play the backing chords and try some of those pentatonic notes for a solo. Here's our chords. Our solo in the first position, E minor pentatonic. higher, just play the same thing here at fret 12. That's my take on Slow Blues by Mick Taylor on electric guitar. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day. Mm -hmm.